Hi, welcome. Thank you very much for following my personal uh, blog today. Um, my name is Leslie Donaldson with How I Choose to Live My Life. And so today I'm really thankful for the people who have taken the time to view um, my introduction video because I've gotten a lot of really great feedback, whether it be on Instagram, um, Facebook, uh, private messaging, and um, also on LinkedIn. So I thank you very much. Um, what I wanted to talk about today was um, who I am, really about my profile. That's what people have been asking me about is um, they do see my profile on, the, on our website and people do know who I am um, through the lie detective, but it was really interesting that actually people wanted to know um, who I am, where do I live, what are some of the things, because I don't actually have a personal profile. It's always been a profile for Ken Donaldson, and, um, and that's great because we've always been, we always live and work together, and, and um, you know, I do a lot of social media with his profile. So I thank you very much for that, that you've asked and are interested in, um, in my profile. So, um, a little bit about me. Um, so Sunday is my birthday, March 29th, 1969. And I was born in uh, Point Claire, Montreal. I have one sister, her name is Laura, and uh, she's three years older than me. And she was born in uh, Toronto, Canada. Um, shortly after that, we have lived in different places. I haven't just lived in uh, St. Albert, Alberta, Canada all my life. I have moved around and, and so forth. My father, his name was and I say that uh, um, I, my father is in heaven and so is my mom. I have lost both of my parents and that's one of the things that I wanna be able to share uh, with people um, is that I can relate to people who have uh, lost their mom and their dad in, in very different ways. Um, so, uh, but my father, um, Patrick John Bibby, many people knew him as Sandy Bibby. Um, he was born in Andover, England and um, my mother, uh, Linda Dawn Bibby, and so people knew her as Linda Bibby, Sandy, Sandy and Linda Bibby um, from St. Albert, Alberta. They were my parents. And um, shortly after um, my mom and dad were married and had my sister, uh, they moved to Montreal. Shortly after I was born in Montreal, we moved to England. Uh, we lived in a little town in England called Eden, E-Y-D-O-N. So it's a little, uh, a wonderful little town there. Um, I've not been back. Maybe one day I'll get to go. Um, but I lived there for about eight years in England. And um, when I, when my mom and dad and, and Laura and I moved back from England to Edmonton, Alberta, um, to start school, uh, I remember that we moved back uh, to an apartment building uh, here or in Edmonton, but uh, shortly after that, we, uh, my mom and dad did uh, purchase a home in Grandin in St. Albert, um, Alberta, and um, the school that I started there uh, was called Wild Rose School. It was brand new at the time, and uh, many people who might be watching this uh, do remember me from uh, school uh, days, which is really uh, super cool, um, and because uh, we've all been, you know, kind of doing life together, yet yet very different, right? So, my um, my early childhood days were at Wild Rose School, um, living in Grandin in St. Albert, and then uh, moved from that school to Sir George Simpson and did um, junior high there. But then uh, the last year of uh, junior high, we moved from Saint, uh, from Grandin to Woodlands in St. Albert, and I did grade nine at Lauren Aikens um, during that time. And then, uh, and then I did high school at Paul Kane, 10, 11, 12, and graduated from there. And um, once, once I had graduated, um, I'm not sure, if, if you don't know where um, Alberta is, please do look it up on the map. It's absolutely a, a beautiful uh, province. And from St. Albert, um, a four hour drive north is Jasper, Alberta, and it is absolutely stunning. And uh, at, right out of high school, um, I chose to go to um, Jasper. And I was a chambermaid for Marmot Lodge. So I learned how to 
um, clean and, and tidy, um, hotel rooms and everything as a, as a young, young woman and it was really awesome. It's, it's, a, it's a great skill actually. And uh, uh, my mom and I actually had uh, our own cleaning service um, before as well called uh, For Bachelors Only. We cleaned for single men and uh, let me tell you they needed the help. But anyway, that's a different topic. Um, so anyways, I really enjoyed that line of work. And so um, during that time I was about, uh, well, I was 18 years old living in Jasper um, on my own doing the uh, cleaning or uh, working for Marmot Lodge and uh, made a lot of friends there at that time and then the summer was over and so I moved back to St. Albert and uh, there was a there was personal things going on and that's a uh, time for uh, another topic as well and and we will get to those different stories but I'm just gonna try and stick to really just kind of sharing a little bit about my background uh, today and uh, maybe just kind of skim over a little bit of yada yada uh, about some of the uh, stories, but um, we certainly will get to them. But I really want to stick to some of the questions that people have asked me today. And um, because I, I'm, I'm not, I don't have a script, I'm just really trying to talk to you uh, straight and, uh, and be very real with you and be real time with you. So. Uh, so bear with me in that uh, department. So after moving back from um, Jasper to St. Albert, I didn't stay long. I then chose to pack up my belongings and move to Abbotsford, BC. And there I really always had it on my heart that when I went to Abbotsford, I was there, I wanted to meet tall, dark and handsome. And when I did, I told my mom I'd come back. Um, I did meet Tall, Dark and Handsome and his name is Ken Donaldson and he has been my husband now. I've been with Ken for now 30 years. I met him when I was eight, 19, 20 years old. I'm now 50. I'm, my birthday is Sunday, uh, March 29th and um, I'll be 51. So he's been a real gift to me and you know starting this I, I have said I'm a woman of faith and I really believe I was led to go there and find him and we've been together he is my soulmate so um, that again is a story that I will elaborate on another time and, and be happy to share that with you so um, so you know we met I met Ken in Abbotsford and we dated for about three years and um, we were very unconventional and so um, yeah, we were not married, and uh, Ken and I did have a child out of wedlock, and, and uh, we absolutely chose that. Um, that was not, not one of my children are a mistake, and when we talk about children being born out of wedlock, I want to be very, very clear that that was a choice that Ken and I made, um, that we made together. We chose that. So... Um, we absolutely love our, our son, uh, Alexander. He is our oldest child, and um, we do love him. And, uh, and another time we'll talk all about um, our children. So when we were, when I was still um, about eight months pregnant with Alexander, though, Ken and I moved um, back from Abbotsford to St. Albert, and uh, there we started our life um, here in St. Albert. And this is kind of where I want to leave off. I want to be able to talk again and uh, fill you in that uh, once we have moved back to St. Albert and we have started our life again, um, in my next episode, we're going to pick up from there. So thank you so much. And if you have anything that you want to talk about or anything that um, we were talking about today that you're interested in, please do keep these questions coming because I really do enjoy that. And I really am enjoying uh, doing this journey with, with you. So enjoy your day and uh, we'll talk again. Bye now.